TEPCO has begun running a device to cool down a spent fuel storage pool where the water temperature remains high. The company began operating the cooling device at the spent fuel pool of the number four reactor on Sunday afternoon. The water temperature was 86 degrees Celsius on Sunday morning and it dropped to around 82 to 84 degrees Celsius during the afternoon. The pool holds 1,535 fuel rods, the most for any of the plant's reactors. The wall supporting the pool was damaged in a blast on March 15th. TEPCO has reinforced it with steel pillars and concrete. Workers installed a cooling device with a heat exchanger to set up a circulatory cooling system. The operator plans to lower the water temperature to around 55 degrees within a month. TEPCO is already cooling the water at the spent fuel pools of the second and third reactors. It plans to do the same for the number one reactor soon. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, installed new decontamination equipment at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on Sunday. The new equipment called SARI is made by Japanese manufacturers. It consists of 14 cylindrical tanks. Each tank is about 3.5 meters high and 1.4 meters in diameter. The equipment is designed to reduce radioactive substances in water, such as cesium and strontium, to about one millionth of the starting level. TEPCO plans to use the new equipment along with the existing system for dealing with radioactive substances. After carefully going over pipe connections and conducting a test run, the utility aims to put the new system into operation around early August. TEPCO is currently using a wastewater system that decontaminates radioactive water and recycles it as coolant for reactors. But the existing device has been hit with various problems. Its operating rate has been reduced to 63 percent, far below the goal of 90 percent. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant said on Sunday that the level of radioactive cesium in seawater around the number three reactor has shown no signs of increasing since Saturday. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, has been constantly checking the level of radioactive substances at water intakes in the plant and offshore. On Saturday, seawater collected near the water intake of the number 3 reactor recorded 1.3 becquerels of cesium-134 per cubic centimeter, which is 22 times higher than the national legal limit. Cesium-137 was 17 times the limit at 1.5 becquerels. But the recorded level hasn't changed since Friday. In May, water with high levels of radioactivity was poured into the area around the intake. Cesium-134 levels, 20,000 times higher than the legal limit, were detected. But levels of the radioactive substance have been decreasing since then. In addition, cesium-131 was not detected from seawater collected from the intake of reactor number 2 on Friday and Saturday, although it reached 7.5 million times the limit in April. TEPCO says it conducted investigations at four other spots in coastal waters. It also said that radioactive cesium was detected in one of the coastal waters but was below the legal limit. The utility says it believes that radioactive water is no longer leaking since levels of radioactive substances have stayed relatively flat. While we're talking about becquerels, there's one other important thing that I'd like to talk about. When the general public hears about radioactive contamination in water, they're hearing about becquerels per liter. There is one liter of water in this bottle. I measured it carefully with this measuring cup. When TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Company, talks about the radioactive wastewater that has leaked under the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant or other radioactive waste that they have, they don't talk about becquerels per liter they talk about becquerels per cc, becquerels per cubic centimeter. Seawater collected near the water intake of the number three reactor recorded 1.3 becquerels of cesium-134 per cubic centimeter, which is 22 times higher than the national legal limit. Cesium-137 was 17 times the limit at 1.5 becquerels. But the... Okay. This is a cubic centimeter of water. This is not a joke. This is one cc. 
I measured it carefully with this eyedropper, which has a one milliliter mark on it. One milliliter is equal to one cc. Now, if you hear a hundred becquerels of radioactive iodine per liter of water, you think, that's not so bad, that's still within the Japanese government safety guidelines for drinking. However, there are a thousand cc's per liter. So if Tokyo Electric Power Company talks about a hundred becquerels per cubic centimeter, because there's a thousand cubic centimeters in a liter, that's the same as saying 100,000 becquerels per liter. It's a way to make the number look smaller. It looks a thousand times, three orders of magnitude smaller. This is a way to downplay the situation. This is almost a form of deception. So when you hear authorities talking about units, um, be very careful and listen closely to the units. Because in this case, we hear about our drinking water as becquerels per liter, but Tokyo Electric Cal Power Company talks about becquerels per cubic centimeter in order to try and make the situation not look so bad by making the number smaller and playing on assumptions that the general public is going to make when they hear the word becquerel. The Japan Federation of Bar Associations will assign around 100 lawyers to mediate settlements at future centers dealing with compensation disputes related to the Fukushima nuclear accident. In April, the government formed a panel to work on who is eligible for compensation in a bid to swiftly assist those affected by the accident. The panel is holding discussions on creating dispute settlement centers in Tokyo and Fukushima Prefecture. The panel plans to have legal experts, including lawyers, bring about settlements. The Japan Federation of Bar Associations is making a list of about 100 lawyers to be recommended for the work. The Federation is also preparing to appoint 30 lawyers as screening officers tasked with looking into compensation claims and compiling points of contention. The Federation Secretary General Yuichi Kaido says his organization will do its utmost as the dispute resolution centers are designed to handle the unprecedented size of compensation quickly and fairly. <laughs> また、ま、各質問に関してですね、え、さらにお聞きしたこと、え、満足のお答えいただけなかったことについては、後ほどリストにしてお送りいたしますので、あの、ぜひ、え、ご回答お願いいたします。それでは皆さん、お忙しい中
持ってくべきじゃないんですか、えー、せっかく持ってきた約束を守って持ってきたんだから、うんうんうん、せっかくあのーえー、持ってきてくださったんだからなんであなたたち前、ね、尿持ってきたら検査するって言ったんでしょ違いますちょっとほら持ってってくださいもうダメダメダメ逃げちゃダメここで逃げちゃダメですよ人間として付き合ってください我々とねえどこを見てるんですか皆さんは霞ヶ関が大事なんですかそれとも福島の人が大事なんですかねえねえ本当ちょっと頼みますよ現地そうなんですよどうしてなんですかねえあなたお子さんいないんですか Hi, Kevin Blanche. The more I think about the fucking long-term nuclear radiation fallout that's going to fucking kill millions and millions, it, the more fucking pissed off I fucking get about it. The more I think about it, the more that we have fucking dumped billions and billions into this fucking industry, it fucking blows my fucking mind, and the more fucking upset and the fucking matter and matter and angrier and angry I become.